Coronavirus is playing games with our minds. It's true, between social distancing and self-imposed quarantines, the outbreak can wear on your psyche. In fact, after this is all over, experts say many may suffer the same depression that astronauts experience after a long stay at the space station. But there are ways to stop those negative thoughts. When Netflix gets boring and you've run out of table topics, social isolation can really begin to play tricks on your mind. Experts fear many people are going to need help battling post-coronavirus depression and anxiety. Obviously, a lot more anxiety, a lot more fear, a lot more stress. One tool experts use to help people already suffering with anxiety and depression is to imitate someone they admire. But that may not be an option now. What's everybody else doing? Well, when everyone else around you is panicking, <laughs> then that feeling of panic starts to feel normal, and that's not good, that's not healthy. Instead... Practice temporal distancing or focus your attention on a longer time scale. Imagine how you might look back on these events a year from now. Also, disconnect from negativity. Keep your news intake to 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night. Don't fall victim to cognitive distortions. Don't convince yourself something is worse than it is. Set aside 15 minutes a day to write your worries down. After that, don't let your mind think about the issue for the rest of the day. By doing this, you'll also be able to identify your negative thoughts and work on dispelling them. Once you identify that, you can start to either limit your exposure to that trigger. And stick to your routines. Sleeping, waking, taking meds, and eating at regular times can help focus your mind now and ease the impact after it's all over. And experts say some people may experience symptoms similar to PTSD after self-isolating and going back to their ordinary routines. That's because social isolation may have gradually become your normal, and losing it may also be a jolt to the psyche. A South Florida barbershop owner is staying open without the green light from Governor DeSantis. Why he says he's keeping his doors open are his only option.